All right, let's be honest. Insects don't exactly have the best reputation, mm. but look a little closer and your opinion of some of the world's most fascinating creatures might change. Your opinion of Paul Milliken likely won't change, though. <laughs> That's the mission behind a new outdoor exhibit at Atlanta's Fernbank Museum. Good Days Paul Milliken is live there this morning. Paul, a perfect way to get some fresh air and a, a science lesson all at the same time. Absolutely. I know what you're going to say, and yes, I see the resemblance right here. This is probably a relative of <laughs> Two mine. Right here. I got to say, though, this guy's pretty cute. I like it. This is a tortoise beetle, as I'm learning right now. I tell you what, it's a beautiful morning to be at Fernbank Museum out here in the Wildwoods area, and this is the Nature Gallery. So what we're talking about today is an outdoor art exhibit, a beautiful chance for you and your family to enjoy the fresh air safely, but also learn something, like learn about these insects. These are the insect portraits of Levon Biss. This is world renowned and just incredible photography. So the question is, how does he do that? How does he get such a detailed image? I had to find out. So I Zoom called Levon Biss to find out. My, my boy, my son, who was probably about uh, eight, I think at the time, maybe a bit younger. He brought in a little beetle from the garden, a little ground beetle it's called. Mm. He had a little school science kit, so with a microscope, and we started looking at it under that, and it was just oh, it was stunning, it was beautiful. Um, and so I decided to try and photograph it for him, really, as a present. Huh. And that, that's what got me into it, really. Taking these photographs is certainly different than taking a camera, zooming in really tight and snapping a picture. This is a real process to get these. So if you could, in terms that we will understand, how do you do this? Um, with a lot of patience and a lot of blood, sweat and tears, <laughs> I place the camera on a, on a rail, an automatic electronic rail, mm -hmm. which I can program to move forward in tiny increments. So normally around seven microns. That's about the tenth of the width of a human hair. Wow. And it will move forward, it will take a picture, and then move forward again, take a picture, move forward again. So I program the start point and the end point, mm -hmm. and it works its way through. And that gives me a big stack of images, and each image has a tiny slither of focus. And then through various sort of techniques, I can then squash those images together mm -hmm. to choose one image that is fully focused from front to back with all the detail. I'm never going to run out of material. I mean, every time I photograph a new insect, you know, it blows me away how beautiful it is. Bear in yeah. mind, each one of these pictures takes about three or four weeks to make. Yeah. So, so I mean, they're made up of anywhere between eight and 10,000 separate shots. Wow. So after the third week it can, on the same picture, it can get a little, it's a bit of a grind, but then as soon as you start a new specimen, it's a, a completely different picture and it's, it gives you all the uh, enthusiasm back. And now you know how he does it. It'll give you even more of an appreciation of these incredible portraits. This is probably my favorite, the orchid cuckoo bee, which is just beautiful and so otherworldly. I love it. So how do you get to see these portraits? We're going to find out with Tyler Thornton. Good to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great, and I love this exhibit. And so perfect for right now during this pandemic to be outdoors. So how can people come see it? It's out in our outdoor area, out in uh, Fernbank Wildwoods, just kind of take a quick walk and yeah. it'll be in our nature gallery out here and wonderful it'll be here till sunday may 2nd excellent so yes. you got plenty of time to see it and and does admission to the museum get you admission to the outdoor it area sure does yes wonderful i have to think right now i mean a lot of people must be enjoying this outdoor space it's really perfect it is and it, it's a perfect backdrop for an exhibit about insects right and, you know natural habitat and so you know these are from all over the world but we have our own insect species out here in Yes, you do. And speaking of that, coming up in the next hour, I have heard a rumor that we might actually have some live insects on Good Day Atlanta. Is that true? It is true. Can you confirm there will be like big hissing cockroaches? There, yes, there should be. Oh boy. Oh, All right. Boy I hope right. that makes you want to watch Good Day Atlanta coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Uh, you notice I saved that until nine o'clock because there will also be a tarantula. And just in case I screamed, I didn't want Buck to be anywhere near a microphone Thank to offer his commentary. Uh, so I didn't want to be near my earpiece power. when you do that either. <laughs> it's pretty smart. <laughs> right. Now, now are, are, do, are we going to have the volume. super close-up picture of this hissing cockroach? I'm not sure I want to see that. We'll see. 
Tim, we're going to find out. We'll see how close Tim will get. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect, but we'll be tuning in. That's for sure, Paul. Thank you. I love it. Thanks, Paul. <laughs>